So, we will continue solving problems of mass transfer. So, we will continue solving problems of mass transfer. Uh, <coughs> okay. So, this is similar type as of interfacial mass transfer problem. This is 2008 2 marks problem. Air concentrated with solute P is brought in contact with water. Right. Air plus P with water. Now, this is steady state. The bulk concentration of P in air and water. So, Yag is equal to 0.3 x a l equal to point not two respectively. The equilibrium equation relating the interface compositions are or oh sorry it is not this a it is p y p g y p l y p i is equal to point two five x p i. Assume that the mass transfer coefficients k g and k l are identical. So, k y and k x are same. The gas phase mole fraction of P at the interface. So, what we have to do? Y a g minus y a i whole k y is equal to k x yeah, sorry y p g y by y p i x p i minus x p l. So, this k y and k x are identical. So, 0 0.3 minus y p i is equal to y p i by 0 0.25 minus 0 0.02 right. So, 0 0.3 minus 0 0.02 is 0 0.28 y p i plus y p i by 0 0.25. Uh, so, that is 1 by 4 or uh, this 1 by 4. So, this is 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So, 5 y p i right. So, y p i is equal to 0.28 divided by 5. <clears throat> so, accordingly you have to solve for this answer. Uh, point zero five something, point two eight. So, am I correct here? Y P I point two five minus 0 0.02, 0 0.3, sorry it are this, this will be 0 0.32, this will be plus. So, 0 0.32 divided by 5, so it is point around not 663 or something, okay. So, that is option A. Next. There is a problem on extraction uh, and it is 2001 2 marks problem. In a single stage extraction process, 10 kg of 10 kg of solvent F. So, it is uh, y 0 equal to 0, right is mixed with 30 kg of feed F 30 kg S is 10 kg uh, and X F is 0 
The mixture splits into extract and raffinate phase. Containing extract and raffinate phase, containing A at XAE, here XA, XE is equal to 0 0.5 and XR is equal to 0 0.05 respectively, the mass of the total extract phase, right. So, overall mass balance 30 is very easy, 30 plus 10, 40 is equal to E plus R and 30 into 0.2 is equal to E into 0.5 plus R into 0.05 and from there we can solve for this mass of the extract phase upon substitution of R as 40 minus E and therefrom we can solve. Okay, this is 2015, two marks problem. Consider a steady state mass transfer process between well mixed liquid and vapor phases at a binary mixture comprising of components A and B. So, it is vapor liquid system and it is binary system. The mole fraction of component A in the bulk liquid phase, bulk liquid and bulk gas phase. So, XA bulk liquid phase here where, yeah, liquid and vapor phase, the mass fraction this, the bulk liquid and bulk vapor, XA equal to 0.36, YA is equal to 0.36. 1, 6 respectively. So, it is a transfer in this direction. The mass transfer coefficients for component A <coughs> in the liquid and vapor phases in the liquid Kx is 0.1 mole per meter square second and Ky equal to 0.05 mole per meter square second, right. The VLE can be approximated as the equilibrium relation y is equal to 2 x a for x a less than 0 0.4, x a less than 0 0.4. The mole fraction of a in the liquid at the interface is. So, again the same technique, so 0.1 into 0.36 minus XAI is equal to 0 0.05 into YAI minus 0.16 and this YAI we can replace as 2 into XA, right. So, 0 0.036 minus 0.1 XAI is equal to 0.1 XAI minus 0 0.05 into 0 0.08 that is 0 0.008, right. 0.16 into 0 0.05 is 0 0.008, so this will be added. So, 0 0.036 plus 0 0.008 is equal to 0.2 XAI and, and uh, that is equal to 0 0.08 and 6, 4, 4 equal to 0.2 XAI and uh, XAI is equal to 0 0.044 by 0.2, right. <coughs> so, this is 44, this is 200, so 0 0.22 something, something like that, yeah, 0 0.22, right, so that is my answer.
ओके दिस इज 2004 टू मार्क्स प्रॉब्लम दो इट्स अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एड्सॉप्शन बट हियर इट्स सिंपल मटेरियल बैलेंस नथिंग इल्स इक्विलिब्रियम कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ वाटर फे वाटर इन वेपर फेज सी स्टार इन के जी पर मीटर क्यूब ऑफ एयर स्पेस एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर एब्जॉर्ब पर के जी ऑफ ड्राई सिलिका जेल आर रिलेटेड एज सी स्टार इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स सिक्स सेवन एम सो दिस इज इन के जी पर मीटर क्यूब एंड दिस इज एम विच इज इन के जी पर के जी ऑफ सिलिका राइट टू मेंटेन ड्राई कंडीशन इन अ रूम ऑफ एयर स्पेस हंड्रेड मीटर क्यूब कंटेनिंग टू पॉइंट टू के जी ऑफ वाटर वेपर टोटल एम वाटर वेपर इज टू पॉइंट टू के जी of water vapor initial so this is initial condition right 10 kg of dry silica gel is kept in the room so w is equal to 10 kg right the fraction of the initial water vapor remaining in the air space after a long time so let C star be the final concentration. So my answer is V into C star. Sorry, V into C star. That is the final amount remaining in the space divided by m water vapor. So we have to find out basically the C star. Okay. so you see v if we write a balance whatever water is adsorbed from that room must be the water present in the silica gel so v into uh this or v into c star that is remaining and m water vapor that is initial so that much is abstracted and basically adsorbed in the silica gel so w into m so this is <coughs> uh 2.2 kg minus v v is 100 into c star is equal to w w is 10 into m right and m can be replaced as c star divided by 0.0 667 so solve c star from here and substitute it back here so we'll get the answer yeah the flooding velocity in a plate column this is 2010 one mark problem the flooding velocity in a plate column at one atmosphere is 3 meter per second so pressure one atmosphere flooding velocity is 3 meter per second okay <clears throat> so if the column is operated at two atmosphere what will be the new flooding velocity so you see from this equation of flooding velocity simplified i have rho l by rho g right so generally what happens 
this this is constant this is constant we assume over this range so as here rho l is much much higher than rho g vf we can approximate as cf rho l by rho g right so vf1 by vf2 under root of rho g2 by rho g1 because rho l is not getting influenced by pressure now if we assume ideal gas p rho equal to pm by rt so it is under root of p2 by p1 and uh, <coughs> sorry vf2 by vf1 this is 1 this is 2 right so p1 by p2 so vf2 is equal to vf1 into p1 under root of p1 by p2 and vf1 is 3 p1 is 1 p2 is 2 so 3 by root 2 and what are the options three by root two three by two one three by four okay so from there we can solve yeah This 2007 two marks problem. <clears throat> Benzene. in a year benzene mixture is to be is to be reduced from 5.2 mole percent in feet to 0.5 mole percent by contacting it with wash oil in a multi stage counter current gas absorber so we have a gas absorber so here we have air plus benzene and here we have wash oil right so this is the absorption tower multi stage so here y is mole percent is 5.2 so that is 05 052 right 2.5 mole percent so here so say this is 1 this is 2 so y1 is 0.05 and y2 is 0.5 mole percent so 0.5 divided by 100 so 0.005 okay the inlet flow rate of air benzene mixture this inlet flow rate g1 is 10 mole per second while benzene free wash oil comes at so here x2 is 0 and l2 is uh 9.5 moles per second right so <clears throat> if the equilibrium curve is given as capital y is equal to capital x where capital y and capital x are the equilibrium mole ratios of benzene in air and benzene in oil the number of equilibrium stages required to achieve the above separation so you see first gs only air flow rate is 10 into 1 minus 0.052 so we'll get gs so you get y1 0.052 divided by 1 minus 0.052 
here y2 is equal to 0 0.005 divided by 1 minus 0 0.005 and L2 is equal to Ls. and alpha equal to 1. So, absorption factor L divided by alpha G, right. So, or L s divided by G s divided by alpha, that is equal to 9.5 divided by 1 into this G s which is 10 into 1 minus 0 0.052. So, absorption factor is obtained and, and uh, we should write this not as 1, but rather at as it is multi state. So, this is y n plus 1, this is y 1, right, stage 1, stage 2, then stage n, okay. So, what we have to use? Kremser Brown order equation, right, absorption factor has been obtained y2, y1 and this is x0. So, this is x0 equal to 0, right. So, directly you can write this Kremser Brown's order equation which is log of this yn plus 1 minus I do not remember y1 divided by uh, yn plus 1 minus y1 minus exactly uh, forward that equation. So, you have to use this Kremser Brown's order and finally, you have to solve y 1 minus m x 0 something like that into 1 minus 1 by a plus 1 by a right. So, log of a there may be some mistakes. So, you check it and you correct it from book right. So, <coughs> this may be y n I, I do not remember exactly y 1 n plus 1 minus y 1. So, y 1 minus m x 0 something like that and absorption factor everything is given. Actually in gate problem this was a 2007 problem and the graph was given at that time hard copy questions were supplied. So, you can in that question paper itself you can draw this operating line and you can draw this uh, staircases. But here still we can solve this problem analytically using this Kremser Brown's order because your equilibrium line is linear and operating line as we are writing it in solid free basis is obviously linear. So, Kremser Brown's order equation you have to remember. See the similar question is given in 2006, but that was a stripping problem. In a multi stage counter current iso, I am not solving it, isothermal stripping column feed containing 0 0.05 mole of solute per mole of solute free oil is treated with steam. The absorption factor A directly it is given as 0.65, the equilibrium relation is y equal to 2x, so it is linear. Okay. If the steam is initially free of solute and its exit mole ratio, steam's exit mole ratio from the top is 0 0.064. So, mole ratio means this capital Y again. So, then the number of equilibrium stages required. So, you can again have to use this Kremser Brown's order and from there you can solve. So, next is 2003, 2 marks problem. The Reynolds number of a liquid was increased by 100 fold. So, Re2 is equal to 100 into Re1. For a laminar falling film used for gas liquid contacting. So, we have a liquid film, right, and here we have gas. Assuming penetration theory is applicable, the fold increase in the mass transfer coefficient for the same system. Now, you see <coughs> penetration theory states that k is proportional to under root of d divided by pi t. 
right or k is equal to average is 2 under root d divided by pi t where t is the time of contact right time of contact now you see that if a packet is moving like this it's lamina so it is layer wise flow so a packet moving like this so what will be the contact time the contact time as it increases the mass transfer coefficient decreases right d divided by under root d divided by pi into tc so <coughs> so basically the mass transfer coefficient under root of pi uh, under root of d divided by pi t so what we have to do we have to simply think that k2 by k1 is equal to under root of t1 by t2 So, T1 by T2 is L by V1 contact time L by V2. So, it is under root of V2 by V1 and Reynolds number is proportional to velocity under root of RE2 by RE1. So, it is 100 divided by 1, right? So, the answer is 10. So, 10 fold increase in the mass transfer coefficient can be achieved. Okay. So, next it is a problem of cross current extraction. It is 2018 2 marks problem. What is stated? So, it is decided to extract A from a feed containing 20 mole percent A and 80 mole percent 20 mole A that is the feed and 80 mole percent B in two ideal cross current stages as shown below using equal amount of pure solvent C in each stage. So, let me first draw the stages. So, it is a kind of or it is basically a cross current extraction, right. Solvent extract 1, here also you are giving solvent, this is extract 2, raffinate at 1. Raffinate 2 feet. Right. The component B, the solvent is B. The component B, and here, uh, sorry, the solvent is not B. The pure solvent C. Here it is C. Right. The solvent notation has been changed C. This is pure solvent. And this is A plus B. So, Zf is 0.2, right? The component B and C are immiscible. 60 percent of A is extracted in the first stage. A is extracted. In the first stage, the equilibrium relation is y is equal to 2x, <coughs> where y is a mole fraction of A per mole of C in extract and same is for x, right. x is a mole of A per mole of B. Now, the mole percentage of A in raffinate from stage 2. So, let us write x0 as 0.2. Uh, by 
right yeah 0.2 by 0.8 mole of a per mole of b so it is 0.25 mole of a per mole of b right an equal amount of solvent is used so s and here y0 is 0 this is also s y0 is 0 so raffinate from here is x1 extract from here is y1 right s this is y2 this is x2 now you see f or f not f let's write a a is a molar flow rate of a in feet so a into x0 a into x0 let me write the equation first is equal to there is no a in the solvent so a into x0 is equal to a into x1 plus s into y1 right so <coughs> this a x1 or or this how much is extracted so s into y1 is equal to uh, a x0 minus a x1 so that is basically 0.6 a x 0 right 0.6 into a x 0 so obviously we can get that s into y 1 is equal to 0.6 a into x 0 x 0 is 0.25 so y 1 is equal to 0.6 a into 0.25 divided by s and 60% of A goes here, so 40% must be going as raffinate. So AX1 is basically 0.4 AX0, right. And, and Y1 is equal to y1 is equal to 2x1 right that is also given we know that so ax1 is equal to 0.4 ax0 and that with that we are having ax1 is equal to s into y2 plus a into x2 right so ax1 is 0.4 AX0 is S into Y2, Y2 is 2X2 plus AX2, okay. So basically from here, uh, I have got this uh, A by S, why? because y1 is equal to 2x1 so if i use this if i use this s into 2x1 is equal to ax0 minus ax1 right we have used the equilibrium relation now so x1 into 2s minus a here sorry x1 into 2x plus a is equal to a into 0.3 right so a if i take common um, yeah a if i take common a x1 2 s by a plus 1 is equal to a into 0.3 so a cancels out so here uh, we get uh, 
what you got a x 1 is equal to x 2 plus a a x 1 is equal to 2 s x 2 plus a x 2. So, Two s plus a whole bracket x two a x one. <coughs> so basically, from here again, if you take a common, a if I take common, say x one is equal to two s by a plus one whole bracket x two. Right. So two s by a plus one whole bracket x 2. So, x 1 is equal to 0 0.03 yeah. equal amount of solvent. So, I think uh, I am doing some bad calculation. So, let me check. S into y 1 is equal to a x naught minus a x 1 point 6 a x naught and and directly we do not have to go for this much. Uh, so, so S y 1 is equal to point 6 a x naught. So, S by A into Y 1 is equal to 0 0.6 into 0 0.3, right. So, S by A into 2 X 1 because equilibrium relation is 2 X 1 is equal to 0 0.6 into 0 0.3. So, X 1 into S by A 0 0.3 into 0 0.3 that has been obtained. So, <coughs> x 1 s by a we have got. So, from there uh, and here uh, a x 1 is equal to 0 0.4. So, basically 2 s x 2 into a x 2 to s plus 1 and here it is a. So, x 2 is x 1 divided by x 1 divided by 2 into s by a plus 1 is equal to x 2 and if you go for the substitution that is uh, what is happening? Okay, let me raise this. I have jumbled up actually. Complicating that easy problem. So, first stage, uh, sorry, let us go for the calculation. What we have to find out? Uh, the equilibrium mole fraction, the mole fraction of A in the raffinate in stage 2. So, x2 we have to calculate. So, A into x 1 minus x 2 is equal to s into y 2 fine. So, a into x 1 minus x 2 is equal to s into 2 into x 2. So, so basically it is x 1 minus x 2 is equal to 2 of s by a into x 2. So, x 2 is basically x 1 plus 1 plus 2 into s by a. Right. So, that is x 2. So, next in the first stage if you just go for this first stage a into 0 0.25 0 0.25 minus x 1 is equal to this s because the equal amount of solvent is used into y 1. 
So a into 0.25 minus x1 is equal to this s into y1. So 2x1 s, right, 2x1 s. So this 0.25 minus x1 is equal to 2x1 s by a. So 0.25 0.25 is equal to x1 if we take common 2s by a plus 1. So 2 of s by a plus 1 is equal to 0.25 by x1. What is happening? Shift 0.25 into x1. So, x1 is equal to 0.25 divided by 1 plus 2 into s by a. So, 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 yeah. Now, you have to use this 60 percent data. So, that, uh, so, x1 is this. Hmm. So, x1 is this means this uh, a into x0 minus x1 is equal to 0.6 into a x0. So, <coughs> uh, a cancels out. Point 0.6 into a x 0. No, this is point 0.4 into a x 0 because 60 percent is extracted. So, 40 percent is remaining. <coughs> so, 40 percent remaining means x 0, x 0 is equal to this x 1 means 1.4 into x 1. So, x 1 is point 25 divided by 1.4. So, from x1 you substitute here you get s by a and s by a you substitute here back you get x2. So, that is the procedure right. So, you write the what why I have jumbled up because I have started from stage 1 stage 2 and done a lot of uh, means combinations of this 60 percent with this equilibrium relation. So, do it separately and from there you can solve. Okay. This is a difficult problem. This is not a gate problem. Equimolar counter diffusion of A and B occurs through a spherical film. Through a spherical film, we have an equimolar counter diffusion of A and B, say A and this B, right, of inner radius Ri and the thickness delta, right. The flux of A is Na1 at R equal to Ri. Here the flux of A is Na1. The flux through a flat film of the same thickness is Na2, right. So, we have the same thickness, here it is Na2, here also it is Na2. If Na1 is larger than Na2 by 5 percent, so that is Na2 is 1.05 Na1. 
then what is the relation of delta and ri? So options are delta equal to 0.025 ri, 0.05 ri, 0.1 ri and 0.2 ri. Right. So you see for here we know it is a spherical film. Yeah, it is a spherical film. So d dr of n a into 4 pi r square equal to 0. Right. That means n a into 4 pi r square is small n a which is constant. There is a total flow rate n a into 4 pi r square. Now if it is an equimolar counter diffusion we know that n a is equal to minus of d a b by r t dp dr right plus p a by p n a plus n b. This is the typical first principle formula of what we have. So this n a plus n b equal to 0 as n a equal to minus n b. Fine. So n a equal to this. So d a b into r t with a minus sign into d p d r into 4 pi r square is equal to small n a. Correct. So let us say here this is p a i and here it is p a o. So minus of uh, d a b by r t d p a basically d p a integral from p a i to p a o is equal to n a and and there will be 4 pi n a then dr by r square and this integral will be performed from r i to r o right. So it is 4 pi d a b by r t now the limit will change because we have included the minus sign so it is p a i minus p a o. So it is delta of p a is equal to n a this integral will be minus of 1 by r. So minus of 1 by r means 1 by r i minus 1 by r o. So n a is equal to 4 pi d a b by r t delta p a divided by 1 by r i minus 1 by r o. So essentially this n a 1 n a 1 will be n a by 4 pi r i square. So that is 4 pi and here the 4 pi will cancel out d a b by r t into delta p a then r i square 1 by r i minus 1 by r o right. So yeah that is the thing. Now n a 2, n a 2 is the diffusion through a flat film. So there this n a is equal to d a b by r t delta r t delta into delta p a. Simply if I integrate this part and write z instead of r and integrate it from z equal to 0 to z equal to delta I will get this and the driving force here remains same obviously here it will be PAI, this will be PAO, right. This is Z, so this Z equal to 0, Z equal to delta, so we will get this expression of NA2, uh, sorry, this uh, NA1 is 5 percent greater, 
So, Na1 and this is Na2, right? Na1, the flux through a flat film of the same thickness is Na2, if Na1 is larger than Na2 by 5 percent. So, Na1 by Na2 equal to 1.05. So, what will happen now? DAB into delta PA by RT into 1 by Ri square 1 by Ri minus 1 by RO divided by DAB into delta PA by RT delta. This is equal to 1.05. So, delta PA, delta PA, DAB, DAB, RT, RT cancels out. So, this becomes delta. So, delta gives you the numerator. So, delta divided by R i square. Uh, here it is 1 by R i minus 1 by R o. R o is R o is R i plus delta. That is equal to 1.05. Correct? So, <coughs> Ri into Ri plus delta divided by Ri square into delta and here it is also a delta, it is 1.05. So, delta, delta, Ri, Ri cancels out. So, Ri plus delta equal to 1.05 Ri. So, delta equal to 0 0.05 Ri, that is the answer. Okay. So, again we have started with the first principle this and this nothing else and from there we have solved the problem. See another problem it is also very conceptual. The individual mass transfer coefficient what is the problem statement? Individual mass transfer coefficient for absorption of A in a solvent are K y is equal to 60 kilo mole per hour meter square, meter square delta y, right. And K x is equal to 35 kilo mole per hour meter square delta x. The equilibrium relation y is equal to 0.8x. At a particular section of this equipment, the bulk composition xb is equal to 0.03, yb is equal to 0.08. The local mass flux Na is 1.2 kilo mole per hour meter square. Is there any interfacial resistance to mass transfer? If so, calculate our interface in our meter square delta y divided by kilo mole, right. So, how will you get the interfacial resistance? See, Na we can write, it is based on mass phase, gas phase mass transfer coefficient. So, KOY, this is actual right koy or koy total into yb minus y star y star is the bulk liquid phase or gas phase composition which is in equilibrium with bulk liquid phase so xb equal to 0 0.08 so y star is equal to 0.8 into 0 0.03 Right. So, K O Y T Y B, Y B is point zero eight minus point eight into point zero three and that is equal to N A and N A is equal to one point two. So, K O Y total I will get in this kilo mole per hour meter square 
delta y. Correct. Now from this kx and ky value, I can get 1 by koy. It's not the total. It's only considering gas and the liquid phase. So 1 by ky plus m by kx. So 1 by ky, 1 by ky is equal to 1 by 60, m is 0.8, by kx is 35. So that, so that we will get only considering, this is the, this is the resistance of vapor or gas phase, this is of liquid phase. But here in this model, we do not consider interfacial resistance. So, this will be in this uh, our meter square delta y divided by kilo mole. And interfacial resistance Ri will be this resistance total, which we obtained from experimental data, minus the gas and the liquid phase resistance collectively. So, this difference will give you the interfacial resistance and we can solve it from the calculations that are done, right. So, you have to know that actually what happened. Here we know this bulk gas phase, bulk liquid phase. So, actually you see that there are three resistances here, here and here, right. From the experimental data of Na, we have solved for KOYT, right. And from this model, we have solved this plus this. So, definitely if I subtract the total resistance from this combined two resistances, I must get the interfacial resistance. So, that is the basic idea and it is a very conceptual problem similar to this. These are not get problem, but very relevant for the basic understanding of interface mass transfer as well as diffusion here. Okay, this is relative volatility, this is 2008, 2 marks problem. If a binary mixture containing component A and B, in a binary mixture containing component A and B, the relative volatility of A with respect to B is 2.5, well mole fractions are used. So, alpha here it is defined as Ya by Yb divided by Xa by Xb, it is equal to 2.5. The molecular weights of A and B, so Ma it is equal to 78, Mb is equal to 92. If the compositions are now, are however expressed in mass fraction, the relative volatility will then be. So, alpha prime is Wa by Wb in vapor phase divided by Wa in liquid by Wb in liquid. So, basically we have to relate this Y to W, right. Now, let us consider a solution. This a and B. So, this is Ya, this is Yb, right. Ya plus Yb is of course equal to 1, right. So, total is 1 mole. Now, definitely the mole fraction is Ya and Yb. 
because in one mole of the solution Ya and Yb amounts are present. Now if what is the mass fraction? So what is the mass of A in this solution? Ma into Ya and mass of B Mb into Yb, right. So the mass fraction Wa, say here we have used Y, so this will be in vapor. So Ma into Ya divided by Ma Ya plus Mb Yb, right. So in terms of that alpha prime becomes Ma Ya divided by Ma Ya plus Mb Yb multiplied by this will be rewarded Ma Ya plus Mb Yb divided by Mb Yb because this is Ya by Yb right that divided by Xa. So, Xa Ma by Xa Ma plus Xb Mb into Xa Ma plus Xb Mb by Xb Mb. So, this actually cancels out. So, this is Ya by Yb into Ma by Mb divided by Xa by Xb into Ma by Mb. So that is Ya by Yb by Xa by Xb is same as alpha equal to 2.5. So this is the answer. It will remain unchanged. Right? So that is all for this session. In the next session we will further continue solving problems of mass transfer.